I've never done any serious mountain climbing, but I do enjoy hiking. And there have been several times when you get to the end of a long hike, you're up on a hill or an overlook and you get just an incredible view of the scenery that's before you. While you're standing there, you know what it took to get there. Sometimes that hike can be challenging or difficult, but it's worth it when you see the view. There are times in scripture we see people who seem to have a mountaintop kind of faith. It's as if they can see things through the eyes of faith from a perspective where we think, wow, I wish I could look at things that way. Have we ever stopped to think how they got there? For example, when Noah is offering up a sacrifice after God has saved him and his family from a flood through the ark, do we stop and wonder, how did he get to that point? Or Abraham, when he's willing to raise the hand holding a knife that could offer his firstborn son something that he didn't understand fully and we can't understand fully, but that obedience showed some mountaintop faith that God rewarded. Maybe we think about Moses leading the people of Israel out of Egypt and receiving God's commands on Mount Sinai. How did he get to that point? Or Deborah leading God's people into battle on Mount Tabor. How did she get that kind of faith? Or Elijah being willing to face off with false prophets on Mount Carmel. That kind of mountaintop faith doesn't happen by accident. There's a journey to get there. And the more we learn about individuals, men and women of faith in Scripture, we see what that journey includes. This year, we're going to be thinking about what it means to truly be offered up to God. And we're going to be focusing not only on people who have that mountaintop faith, but how we develop that kind of faith in our own lives. It doesn't happen by accident. We're going to use a couple of verses to help guide our thoughts this year. The first is from Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 2. Here's what Paul writes. Walk in love just as Christ also loved you and gave himself up for us, an offering and a sacrifice to God as a fragrant aroma. Jesus offered up himself as a sacrifice for us. Now Peter would write in 1 Peter 2 and verse 5, You also, as living stones, are being built up as a spiritual house for a holy priesthood. And notice what the purpose is to offer spiritual sacrifices that are acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. Why do we offer up spiritual sacrifices? Because of the one who was offered up for us. And so all year long, we're going to be focusing on what it means to truly understand what Jesus sacrificed, and then what it means to look at the kinds of sacrifices we need to make. Uh, our theme this year for 2022 is offered up. What does that life of commitment of devotion, of dedication look like. Now, obviously, we don't climb this kind of mountain of faith on our own. Only God's the one who can give us that view from a mountaintop of faith, just like he was the one who guided Noah and Abraham and Moses and Deborah and Elijah. But in order for that to happen, I'm going to have to be completely devoted, totally committed to serving God. That's what we're going to reflect on this year. And it's our prayer that these series of sermons and classes and activities we're going to have throughout the year will help move us further in that direction on our journey to have that kind of faith and to be thankful for the one who guides us along the way.